Hi everyone, it's Jay Witty. Hope y'all are having a great day. So I'm back at it again. I'm playing around with the bloom technique, the, or bloom swipe technique. And this time I'm doing it on a 12 by 12 inch tile. My base uh, color that I'll be using today is um, Bare Ultra Medium Based 1724. It has a healthy squirt of Liquitex pouring medium in it. I picked up a whole gallon of it on clearance for nine dollars <laughs> it was just a really pretty shade of gray so the colors that i'm using are left over from my previous swipe this is the folk art treasure gold antique copper which kind of has a it kind of looks purplishy and you know and then gold depending on the way the light hits it the folk art treasure gold is um, gold blue quartz is the next color that you see here and love 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 this color blue it's just so pretty and finally this is the deco art americana 24 karat gold and i put a couple of squirts of the extreme sheen 24k gold from deco art into that so it's kind of like a custom gold um really really pretty my cell activator that i'll be swiping with today is a three to one ratio uh, australian floetrol and amsterdam oxide black and we're just having fun i'm experimenting um, playing around with different types of bases as far as um pillow paints um, this, like I said, the, the, the base that I'm pouring down was a medium base versus a deep base. Now, the pouring medium for the colors, however, uh, I used the Bare Satin Enamel Deep Base 7753. Uh, mixed that up with some Minwax Polyacrylic Gloss and then a healthy squirt of the GAC 800. And so... All of my recipes, along with the ratio and a list of everything that I used, is listed in the description box down below. So you just need to tap on the title of the video. It'll take you right there and you can review that. Um, and like I said, I'm playing around. I'm exploring different things and, and seeing what works for me with what I have on hand. And um, finding out that you can alter recipes, you can change them up a little bit, and sometimes you, you luck out and you still come out with pretty good results. And I'm real happy with the results on this particular piece. Um, and I did, I played with this for a while. Um, just wasn't happy with the first couple of spins out, you know, spin outs. So, you know, it, you just keep pouring until you get what it is you want and you work it. And I worked this one quite a bit. So I hope you stick it through and watch what I've done. Uh, this piece actually took me over an hour to complete. Of course, I edited it <laughs> way, way down, but gave you the gist of everything. I do go in and I either, now I call it wrecking. Some people call it modifying. Um, but um, what I use to wreck this with is <laughs> I've got this little teeny tiny plastic martini stirrer that's got this little round ball at the end of it and it's a lightweight plastic so that's what I'm, I use when I, I do my wrecking. Um, I've got some practicing to do with that. My swirly swirls and whatnot aren't exactly perfection so but ultimately I love the end result. I do take you in at the end of the video for the wet results and I do take you in for the dry results really wish I could have taken this outside to have shown you but we've had overcast skies here the last several days so I didn't get much in the way of sunshine uh, to show it to you before I needed to upload this video so maybe I'll do that in a, f a future uh, video so but I'm really happy with this guys I love it I like the composition I ended up with. It's very unique. It's not, you know, it's just, it's symmetrical, but not perfect. It's off-centered instead of centered, and it just is so magical. And that gray dried a lot darker <laughs> than I expected it to. And in fact, it even dried darker than what they had on the lid on the can, which I found to be interesting. I also find it interesting uh, how the paint reacts differently uh, on tile versus on canvas. So that's, you know, a pretty cool experiment. So if you've got some tiles laying around, by all means, play. Use that instead of a canvas and see what happens. I do clean my tiles off with uh, rubbing alcohol. 
um, before I, I pour onto them. That gets rid of any kind of dust particles or smudges or oils from your hand. Um, and then I allow that to dry completely before I pour. And that only takes a few moments for that to happen. So, anywho, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, I do invite you to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell for future uploads so you don't miss any more of my, my videos. And until next time, guys, stay safe, take care, and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.